Hey, good morning. Uh, yeah, that's right. It's me, Uncle Lou here. I just got a quick question here, which I already know the answer. Why will Georgia be playing two games here in the next three months? One in December and one in January. Woo! right it's me uncle lou live for you on youtube today uh yep thanks for watching i'm gonna switch the videos up a little bit um this week normally on mondays i do my uh hate week video for whatever team we're playing that particular week which which this week uh georgia plays missouri and i'm still gonna do that video but it's gonna be uh on it on a different day later in the week um this week i want to switch it up for a couple of different reasons the season is is halfway over now we're at the halfway point most teams have played six games a few have already had their bye week so they're sitting at five games but generally speaking the season um is about halfway over um and so that's going to be the point of today's video i want to do a uncle lou was right uncle lou was wrong video um i'm going to base uh this off of my preseason prediction videos that i did i did some conference previews and i did previews of a bunch of different teams um, in the offseason, and I made some predictions on wins and losses, where they might finish, who would win each division and each conference, who would make the playoff, uh, things like that. So I'm going to go through some of those, as many as we can, and figure out where was Uncle Lou right and where was Uncle Lou wrong. Um, real quick, right before I get to that, though, I just hit 5,000 uh, subscribers here on LouTube, which might not be that big of a deal uh, to, to a lot of people. But um, I still get amazed uh, every time I upload a video, really, that anybody at all watches it. Um, I started doing this a couple of years ago, uh, really as a way to just blow off some steam. Uh, not really knowing what I was doing uh, or, or what to expect. Um, and so it, it, it amazes me every time uh, anybody watches these video so to get to 5,000 subscribers I mean I remember when I would upload a video and 10 or 15 people would watch it um, and that amazed me uh, and I'm still just as amazed now uh, as I was when I first started um, doing this so thank all of you who have watched and subscribed um, and and the comments uh, you know everything um, I, I really appreciate y'all uh, watching um, the other thing I want to address real quick before I get to the right and wrong is uh there's a lot of subscribers on this channel who have only been subscribers on this channel during this season um over the last two or three months i have gained way more subscribers than i ever got over any other two or three month period and it just so happens that georgia is on a roll this season we're six and oh we look really really good we're top four uh in the in the uh, ap poll fifth in the coaches poll um, and so I, I'm noticing a lot of comments about, uh, me being cocky, arrogant, a douchebag even, uh, and that's true. All of that is true. Uh, but listen, no one is harder on UGA when they deserve it than Uncle Lou is. And you don't have to take my word for it. There's video proof. Go back and watch the videos from last season or the season before or the season before that when we weren't very good um as an example um i have been real high on oklahoma this year had them ranked real high in the uncle lou poll they were undefeated um i thought they had either the best or second best win uh all season at ohio state i've been high on oklahoma have not really had a reason to talk bad about oklahoma well this weekend they crapped to bed plain and simple I pointed it out. That's what I do here. Uh, it's nothing special about Oklahoma, I promise. Uh, but I had somebody leave a comment that said, and this is pretty typical of the way a lot of people feel, I think, especially if they've only been watching this season. Uh, this, basically, the comment said something to the effect of, uh, Uncle Lou, I've been watching you for a little while. I used to think you were funny, but now I just think you're a complete and total douchebag. Uh, and then he went on to 
he went on to try to talk big about the Big 12 uh, and that the SEC is no good. Uh, so that's how I knew he was an Oklahoma fan. So basically he started watching when I was saying good things about Oklahoma, uh, liked what he heard and thought I was funny. But as soon as Oklahoma loses a game they shouldn't lose at home to Iowa State, and I point that out and say something bad about Oklahoma, all of a sudden I'm not funny anymore and I don't know what I'm talking about and I'm an idiot. Well, you're free to feel that way, sir, but I promise you uh, it's nothing special about Oklahoma. If you don't believe me, you can ask Tennessee or South Carolina or Southern Cal or Texas or you know any of these dozens of other teams uh, that I let them know they're not any good, uh, they're terrible. Uh, when they deserve to be told that. And like I said, when UGA has, has looked that way, I've been the first one to point it out. So if you're new around here, which a lot of you are, uh, just keep that in mind. It's not my fault, uh, and I don't get any credit, and shouldn't, for UGA being 6-0 and and a top-four team in America, but the reality of the situation is they are. So why you would want me to harp on UGA when I'm a UGA fan and they're undefeated in a top four team is beyond me. But if you're Oklahoma and you can't beat Ohio, uh, Iowa State at home, then you deserve whatever you get. I mean, it's, it's, it, I, I can't make it any more simple than that. Okay, so here we go. Let's go uh, right and wrong. So where was Uncle Lou right? Where was Uncle Lou wrong? Uh, we'll, go, we'll just go through conference by con conference and I'll pick a couple of teams out from each conference. Pac-12. What did I say in the preseason about the Pac-12? Not a very good conference. Was that right or wrong? That was pretty right. Uh, do they have any elite teams out there? Don't know. There's a couple of good teams for sure. Washington, Washington State. Uh, who did I pick to win the Pac-12? Southern Cal. <laughs> Not looking too right on that one. Uh, I had Southern Cal making the playoff this year. That's a stretch. Probably not happening. They haven't looked that good even in the games that they've won. Uh, who else is good out there? Washington. I wasn't very high on Washington in the, in the preseason, although I did say they're likely to go undefeated. If, that was just based on their schedule uh, and, and a couple other things, and so far they're undefeated, so I was right about the undefeated part. Was I right about them not being a very good team? Well, there's no way to know they haven't played anybody at all. Uh, and they pretty much don't play anybody until maybe the Pac-12 title game. But, uh, you know, pretty much what I said about Washington was if they lose a single game this year, they're not any good. That's how bad their schedule is. I still kind of feel that way. I can understand if someone feels different and wants to argue that Washington's an elite team because they're undefeated, so I, I, could, I could understand that. Um, but I would still disagree that they're an elite team. Um, I, I haven't been, you know, they haven't beat anybody. Now, all you can do is play the teams on your schedule. I understand that. Uh, but this is basically the same thing Washington did last year. Run through a week pack 12. They get to the playoff. Play Alabama. Can't move the ball and can't stop Alabama. Lost, what was it, 34-7? to Whatever it was. The game wasn't close. Um, if Washington goes undefeated and wins the Pac-12 and makes the playoff again, you, there will be a similar result. That's an opinion, though. So there's no way to know whether that part's right or wrong. Uh, what else? The Big 12. Big 12 is another conference I said wouldn't be very good. I think I was right about that. Uh, most people picked Oklahoma in the, to win the Big 12 in the offseason. I did not. I picked Oklahoma State to win the Big 12. Uh, that's still possible. They've got one loss to TCU, right? Which is looking like a good loss right now because TCU's undefeated, top 10 team. Uh, Oklahoma was undefeated, uh, lost to Iowa State. Um, other than that, are there any good teams in the Big 12? TCU, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State. Who else is good? Baylor? No, no. Not, not even close. Uh, who else? That's it. Texas. I, I was Texas I was wrong on. I was high on Texas. Thought they might win nine or ten games. That's not happening. Uh, I mean, they're up and down. They're up one week, down the next. Got humiliated by Maryland. Looked terrible. Go play Southern Cal and almost win. But turns out Southern Cal might not be that good. So, I don't know. Hard to really pin Texas down right now. Are they good? Are they bad? Are they somewhere in between? Um... But it's pretty safe to say I was wrong about them winning 10 games and having a shot at the Big 12. I think I'm pretty safe to say I was wrong there. Big 10. Who did I pick to win the Big 10? I picked Ohio State to win the Big 10. Still a possibility. Their only loss is to Oklahoma. That loss looks a lot worse today than it did when it happened. Ohio State got blown out at home by Oklahoma. Um, Penn State undefeated, highest ranked Big 10 team. Wisconsin a top 10 Big 10 team. Michigan was in the top 10. They didn't show up this past week against Michigan State, a game that was played in the rain. Um, 
you know, Michigan's got an elite defense, but their offense has been subpar, to, to, is putting it politely. Um, their offense is just terrible. Right? Let's just be real about it. Um, not any good. Is Michigan, is Michigan, can you see Michigan beating Ohio State? I don't know. Hard to say. I picked Wisconsin to win one division. Looks like I was right about that. And I picked Ohio State to win the other division. I could be right about that. My opinion is now would be either Ohio State or Penn State. Probably the winner of that game, I, I, I guess, is probably going to win it. Michigan State sitting at, what, 4-1, and 5-1, and one, something like that. Um, so much better than last year. But I don't think they have a realistic chance of uh, winning their division, much less the Big Ten. What did I say about Michigan State in the preseason? Uh, they wouldn't be an elite team, but they'd be better than the three-win team they were last year. So they're, they're falling somewhere in there. So some right, some wrong in the Big Ten there. ACC, uh, what was I wrong here? Uh, and I'm looking stupider every day on this. I picked Florida State to win the ACC and make the college football playoff. <laughs> They've won one game, uh, barely, against Wake Forest with a late touchdown. Uh, got beat by Alabama, lost starting quarterback for the year. Canceled a game because uh, of the hurricane. Lost to NC State. Beat Wake Forest. And then lost at home this past weekend to Miami. So I was definitely wrong on Florida State. Clemson, what did I say about them? Clemson, still an elite team. But they won't be able to replace Deshaun Watson. At least not in year one. Uh, and because I was so high on Florida State, I couldn't see Clemson winning the ACC. Looks like I was wrong. Uh, Clemson looks like the class of the ACC and possibly the best team um, in the nation. They've got three good wins against uh, Louisville. Uh, who else? Louisville. Auburn. And Virginia Tech. So I don't think any other team has three wins that are that good. Uh, you might can point to a team that has a win better than any of those three, but if you want to, you know, as far as having three quality wins... Those are probably the, the three quality the, the three best quality wins of any team um, of any team uh, in America, in my opinion. So Clemson the class of the ACC, so I was wrong uh, there. SEC. Uh, SEC, I did the predictions a little different. Because I'm a Georgia fan, I didn't really think it was fair to predict the SEC East, so I sort of sort of left out that as far as who would win the East. I did pick Alabama to win the West. Uh, in the preseason, I was probably 75 to 80% sure Alabama would win the West. Right now, I would probably lower that to 60 to 65%. Um, they play Auburn at Auburn. Uh, and in my opinion, that game will be for the SEC West title. I don't see, um, I don't see either of those teams losing two games you know, other than that game which is what would have to happen for the, for the loser of that game to, to win the West. That, that sounds confusing, but basically what I'm saying is, like, for example, Auburn plays Georgia, right, before they play Alabama. Well, even if we beat Auburn, that's Auburn's first SEC loss. So if they then turn around and beat Alabama, Auburn still would win the West. So I think the winner of the Iron Bowl will win the West. Uh, I still think Alabama's got, you know, probably the better shot of the two. To win the West, um, but I think you have to at least consider um, Auburn at this point. They have one of the best losses this year uh, of any one-loss team with a one-score loss at Clemson. Um, I was probably a little too low on Auburn in the preseason. They're probably a little bit better than what I than what I made them out to be in the preseason. Uh, on the East, um, I said it would come down to uh, Georgia and and Florida, and you know. That, that's exactly what's going to happen. If Georgia beats Florida in, in, in three weeks, uh, they pretty much wrap the East up at that point. The rest of the, the teams just don't have a chance at this point. Kentucky thinks they do, uh, but they don't. Uh, they still have to play Georgia at Georgia, which is a loss. And they'll lose at least one of the four games they have between now and the Georgia game. Kentucky, not winning the East. South Carolina, definitely not winning the East. Missouri, worst Power 5 team in America. Well, except maybe Baylor. Uh Vanderbilt, we've already beat them. They took a beating to uh, Alabama and lost to Florida. Three SEC losses in the first week of October. They're not winning the East. Uh, Florida has looked terrible, even in the games they've won. 
miracle win over Tennessee. Uh, best win they had really probably was Vandy, and that wasn't all that impressive. Um, they lost to a terrible LSU team, so they're sitting at two losses. One more SEC loss in Florida is done. Um, so, and they may get that. Don't they play Texas A&M this week? They might get that loss this week. Uh, if Florida loses this week to Texas A&M, the East is already over, in my opinion. Might as well just go ahead and give it to Georgia. Um, so, lots of things I was right and wrong on. My four college football playoff teams I had predicted in the preseason were uh, the winner of the SEC. I didn't, like I said, I didn't name one because I'm a Georgia fan. I didn't think it was fair. So I said the winner of the SEC, Florida State, wrong. Ohio State, still a chance, right? And Southern Cal. Southern Cal, I guess, ah, no. I could try to find a way to make myself look right, but let's just be real. Southern Cal hasn't looked like anything close to a playoff team this year, so that's probably not happening. You know, there's a good possibility the Pac-12 and the Big 12 get left out of the college football playoff. If Washington goes undefeated and loses in the Pac-12 title game, Pac-12 probably not getting anybody in. Big 12, Oklahoma, Oklahoma State, I think, are good teams, but just don't think they have the defense. Somebody's going to catch them on a bad day and, and outscore them again, aren't they? It, it seems more likely than not that Oklahoma State and Oklahoma will each lose another game. That leaves you with TCU, probably the best defense in the Big 12. Still not an elite defense, though. Are they going to go undefeated? I doubt it. Uh, now, what if TCU loses this week? Then wins the rest of their games and wins the Big 12 title and finishes, you know, 12 and one. The, the, nah, maybe they get in. So you know, we'll see. I think I think there's still a possibility for the Pac-12 and the Big 12. We'll have to see how that plays out. So anyway, right on some stuff, wrong on some stuff. That's just the way it goes. Uh, you know, don't get your feelings hurt with the trash talk videos. To me, trash talking is just as much a part of college football as tailgating or eating boiled peanuts and hot wings. I mean, it just, I, I can't separate the two. To me, you can't have college football without trash talk. So if I'm talking good about your team when they're winning, like I was with Oklahoma, and then you come out and just embarrass yourself against something called Iowa State at home, and I turn around and trash Oklahoma and you get mad about it, that's on you, okay? You can't laugh when I'm trashing these other teams that <laughs> look terrible and then get mad when I trash your team after losing at home to Iowa State. That's just the way it goes. And like I said, everybody keeps saying, uh, you know, I'm, he's just a Georgia homer. Of course, he, you know, he never says anything bad about UGA. What, 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 you tell me what I should say bad about UGA this year. Tell me. I've talked about their lack of passing game. Other than that, what can you complain about, about UGA this year? What, 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 how do you want me to trash UGA? I don't get it. But like I said, go back. Look on, I mean, look at last year's postgame video against Vanderbilt, Georgia Tech. Florida, Ole Miss, uh, who else, we lost, hell, who else we lose to, we lost another one, Tennessee, oh God, don't watch the Tennessee one, year before that, look at the Alabama game from 2015, look how mad, I, look, I mean, tell me, <laughs> tell me I didn't trash Georgia in, t in 2015, you're out of your mind, I spent the whole second half of the season saying how terrible UGA was, you know why, they were terrible, so, anyway, that's just the way it goes. Uh, anyway, this was a long video. Thank y'all so much for the 5,000 subscribers. I'm going to do some kind of 5,000 subscriber special where I, I give some stuff away, uh, a jersey or whatever from your from whoever your favorite team is, uh, or, or an Uncle Lou hat, maybe, uh, or, or an Uncle Lou t-shirt, whatever. We'll figure some stuff out uh, this week uh, for the 5,000 subscribers um, video. Uh, but anyway... I appreciate y'all watching today and every day, like I said. Um, I still get amazed that anybody watches these videos. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Um, and I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Have a great day.